everybody, welcome to Cream Puff Weekly, and uh, this is the next episode, which will be for season two, episode 27, the one that Steph was so excited about, Zones of Friendship. down to the crater and gone all super saiyan the bad news is that we have super no saiyan. idea where she is so come nightfall it is anybody's game i can't believe there's no sign of her anywhere hey laura and dave danny um i got news they just marched the little Opera club kids into the crater and um can i ask you something is it more important than the evil plot well no but um last time i was here theo said some stuff and um i was just wondering Am I in the friend zone? Kersher, are you seriously asking me this? <laughs> Fine. Fine, if that's the only way that you can think of women, then yes, you have been friend zoned. Mm. Yes, I've been the friend zone. What? I oh. have made it into the friend zone. Kersher, are you happy? <laughs> of course I am. I mean, yeah, I totally want more because, you know, you're super smart and way tough and smell like hot, but, you know, I get it. You're just not into me that way. And, you know, even if you don't like me, I like you, I still think you're awesome. You're like the Joan of Arc. That of is... Why wouldn't it be awesome to be your friend? That is so cute. Kirsch, that's really sweet. Oh, they hugged. Oh, oh. <laughs> Please, never say that again. Now, what did you need to tell Laura? Oh, that was Brent, so cute. The Corvay SWAT dudes are building this machine that looks like one of those dangly planet things had babies with a magnifying glass. They're gonna kill Moby's dick! <laughs> so if Wardenberg kills Moby's the fish, dick. why would that be bad? Oh, I don't know if I'm okay with Loki suffering. By which I mean I can study it dead. I don't think it's that simple. Come on! Angry Sumerian demigod! Do you remember how effective our last attempt to kill it was? So Wardenberg tries and fails. I'm still not seeing the downside. Um, it gets loose and eats Europe? Or worse, he succeeds and its death throes drive everyone for a thousand miles insane. Maybe it rips mm -hmm. a hole in the fabric of reality. Or maybe it hypothesizes into something far worse than we've ever seen. Oh, very good point. There's points. a reason Maddie decided our best bet is to just bury it alive. You know, just for once it would be nice to get good news for a change. Like, an accidental delivery of puppies. Instead of fish murder and plausible super vampires, what are we gonna do? Well, I don't think we have a choice. We can't risk him killing it. How do we stop him? Our best bros are on duty 24-7. Well, there are still a few summers you've trusted me enough to help. I'll gather them up. If Kirsch can distract them with more of that weird fish spear, we'll sneak into the crater, sabotage the machine, beer? and save Lofi. Just after 3 a.m.? Sounds like... The only plan that we've got. At least she's not wearing the giraffe shirt. That's good, right? So what are we supposed to do until three? It's already been a long night. We should probably just try to get some sleep. A little later on the sleepless night. Okay. Oh, they're playing a game. They're playing the game together. Oh. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. Yes, I can. I rolled a four. No, you have to go in the House of Beauty before you can land any further. <laughs> if this game is supposed to be the underworld, then why is there a House of Beauty? Don't you think death can be beautiful? Oh my god, fool yourself much. Come on, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, you were totally going for the whole bell do and that's the new vibe. I am death, trod under a fair man's feet. No, you're not. I was thinking what you said about... Maddie, drinking the anglerfish's blood. How you were gonna do it too? Do you think it would have killed you? I don't know. Would you care? Uh, yeah. How can you say that? Do you think I hid you here after everything because I don't care? Because the thought of something happening to you doesn't make me feel like I can't breathe. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how I'm supposed to feel around you or what I'm supposed to do, because... Well, that's why it's Steph's favorite episode. Aww. Mm. 
Please don't cry. I can't. Okay. Why not? Because right now I'm really hoping that this means that you're gonna change. You kiss me and it it cracks me open and all of my stupid messy hopes come tumbling out and maybes and some days and how is that fair? Well, who the hell cares about fair? I do. The world is a fair though. Or so maybe I'm just catastrophizing because between Maddie and Vordenberg we are in the middle of a catastrophe. Maybe after everything settles down, we can talk. Mm. Mm, well, that's a if good sign. Survive. <laughs> survival is key. If we survive. Sorry, but it's <laughs> nearly <laughs> so we gotta hustle or we'll be leaving Danny in the summers in the lurch. Hi, Loris viewers. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here, right? Yes. Am I supposed to be off helping to save the anglerfish? Really? Yes. It's just the thought of risking my life for some monster, I just, I couldn't, so I see it here. You helped the first time. Dusted, made some snickerdoodles, passed out from exhaustion, only when I woke up, there were bloody footprints on the carpet, and I am scared that something very, very bad is happening. Oh, oh darling, Man, I can pretty much guarantee it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh God. All right. It was a great episode in more than one way, and you guys all know why. Um, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more. If or Subscribe on my channel, please, if you would like more. And I hope you guys all have a great day, and goodbye.